Hey, little. How are you? Hey, Granny Gaming, good to see you. It has been a while since I've, well, since I streamed GT for one. Hey, Tuz. I'm surprised you're up so late. <laughs> Ratchet Lover, good to see you. Multiverse, good to see you. Yeah, I just love this game. I was in the mood to play it. And I've been, it, I actually have been working on a long play for this. And I've been editing that all day today, but. You know, I actually was like, you know, I want to play again and stream. Um, Multiverse, you probably, sadly, I lost my, because of Ava, Avast. I'm not exactly sure what happened, but Avast had something to do with my antivirus. And it, it thought that my Streamlabs chatbot had, was a virus. So I ended up losing uh, all of that, so... So I'm just using regular stream labs now. Oh, thank you, Granny. Wow. Thank you so much. That is really awesome. You were you were awesome. Multiverse my spring oh, is going great. Oh, you darling! That number blows me away. <laughs> oh, they're 20 cents more. That sucks. So yeah, my spring break's going really well. Um, yeah, I was working on college stuff over the weekend, but today I was just going to take a break. So I haven't really done anything today <laughs> except edit, like I said. So yeah, Gran Turismo 1. This is going to be a different kind of playthrough. I try not to talk too much through the intro because I think the intro's... I really like the intro to this game. really do love the intro to this game and I, well i love this game just i just love it what else can i say so we are going to be doing a challenge that i've actually never done before when playing this game as many times as i've played it i'm actually going to do a challenge where i i don't think it's really going to be that hard exactly but it's going to generally be a challenge you know i mean it's it's a different thing so i guess you're going to say it's a challenge where I can only use three different cars. I've been thinking about it. And I think if I use an, a lightweight FF car. And I'll let me get my music playlist going here. If I use a um, lightweight FF car. Then I should be able to uh, just get one FR car and one four wheel drive car. And then I'll be able to. That'll be all I need for the whole game. Uh, I should be able to do everything with just three cars. However, some things might be kind of difficult. Um, especially since I'm not going to allow myself to grind. So I can't just redo the Sunday Cup over and over again. That would just take the fun out of it. And uh, crazy to think that this series only has one real competitor, but not that crazy. Yeah. What would you say the biggest competitor is? Uh, Forza, maybe? How long has it been since any of these songs made any money? I really don't know. Yeah, a lightweight FR car would be the AE86, but the thing is for FR, I was actually thinking of using like a front wheel drive, or for FR, I was gonna use a more powerful FR car so I could do a little more with it. But for FF, I was just gonna use a weak car that's lightweight. Um, so, but yeah, this this is lightweight. Could use it, um, but I don't know. There there are a lot of different ways I could do this. Really. So I was thinking of do, doing a lightweight Honda though. Where we got a Delso SI Civic three door. Nine 
Society. Oh, you've been playing Destiny and Fortnite? Oh, man. Yeah, um, we will We will do... Let's just go ahead and do the licenses. We will... We will eventually get back into Minecraft. I really apologize that it's... That I have... I just haven't really been in the Minecraft mood lately. I love Minecraft, but... I just gotta take some breaks from there every now and then. Oh, man, Granny, I'd love to watch you do it. Thank you, Multiverse. I appreciate that. Yeah, I would love to see you do GC2. I love Gran Turismo, too. Come on, Demio. So, yeah, I'm not going to go for all the golds on the licenses. I know this is 100%. It's basically 100% minus getting all golds. Because, well, I get all golds. Well, I get all golds in the... Uh, In the, uh, that was horrible. Wasn't it? What? Okay, I get a gold on my first event. Um, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not even trying to get golds on these. Um, that was completely accidental. But, oh, I'm picking automatic for this one. I don't know, I can't really get my words out of the guy. Just, just playing. <laughs> Oh, no, man. Yeah, cursing. I had to get a new phone a couple of months ago. Mine. Mine. The last one I had only lasted like three years. It's kind of sick. But, yeah, like I was saying about the licenses of not getting all goats because, well, I, I want to make it a little more of a challenge by using weaker cars than the cars you get from the licenses. Because if I use, you know, the Nismo 400R and the, uh, uh, shoot, the TRD 3000 t then that'd just be a little bit too powerful. Oh, hey, House Sider. The gold cutoffs. Yeah, some, some of them are just evil. You know, when I... Spoiler alert. Whenever I do upload my long play, for any, anybody who might be interested in watching it, of this game. I actually got this one on the second attempt. I got gold on it. Which I was really surprised about. Because in the past, this particular test here has been a pain in my boot. It really is. Oh well, I... <laughs> that was horrible. Yeah, Granny, I do need a new Japanese version. Oh, I still got silver at least. Eh, wasn't as bad as I thought. Now, this one is the one that took me forever on my <laughs> on my latest playthrough. I don't know what it was, but I just I did I did the Del So one really quickly. But this one was just like no, not having it. And I was very sad. They in the updated version of your PayPal. Person, did you have a PayPal? Cause I honestly don't. I don't remember. Oh yeah, I love Force Horizon Legal. Uh, that is something else that I need to get back into doing. Mm, I've just used an emulator for GC2. Right? You can also use fast forward and stuff, the loading screens. Yeah, I definitely do need to do the Japanese version sometimes. That is something I really want to do. I appreciate all of y'all being here with me tonight. I wasn't really expecting, because of the really bad timing, <laughs> I wasn't really expecting many people to be here, but it's just like anybody who's interested in the game, they can watch it later if they wanted. 
but y'all being here really means a lot to me. Really appreciate it. Oh man, the C7 Corvette, that is a beauty, isn't it, Leland? Oh, you're talking about the account where I've been keeping track of how much money, um, yeah, how much money you have from giveaways and stuff. Yeah, Kirsten, I can, I can send that to you. It's not a, it's not a PayPal account. Now you can create your own PayPal account. No, I can forward it to that, but. Well, I appreciate that, Granny. I'm glad you enjoy it. Kind of sad that I didn't get goat on on a B6, because usually that's a really easy one, but I kind of suck, so I will. <laughs> Thank you, Housider. That really means a lot, man. That's like the highest compliment I could have. It's, you know, saying that I'm fun to chill with, man, that means a lot. Y'all are all fun to chill with as well, honestly. So yeah, I'm on spring break for this week, so have a little more time on my hands. Which I'm so glad. So glad. Okay, at least I gotta go with that. Hey real fan, how you doing? Yep, more G more GT1. Gotta love GT1. Hey Jeff Gamer. Oh, the C7 Grand Sport. Oh man. Uh, I have it on Encore, so it's gonna show that I got the achievements. I just like Encore mode for RetroArch. I'm kind of weird. Most people get annoyed by it, probably, but I like it. Going for retro achievements really could be a really could be a, a, a addiction. <laughs> If I had to work so much for my job, like 50 hours a week, plus my college class, man, y'all be seeing, seeing me go for retro achievements all the time. <laughs> y'all be like, Sky, stop it. Get some help. And, and I'd be like, yes, I agree. But I can't. Got to the Miata. Too bad it's kind of weak in this game. It doesn't really tune that well. The pop up was with the blueprints. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Um, what's? Oh, that's a pretty good time. 117, 897. I got three golds and no bronzes, so it's not bad. Oh, Lidl, you'll have to see. Y'all, y'all will probably see in this session. Y'all will probably find out all of the cars I'm gonna use. I'm only using three cars, so you're probably gonna be seeing in very short time. Let's see if the thing changed. Cause I think I am gonna go for a Honda. It did not change. I kind of want to go with this because it is lightweight and it's actually pretty good. But at the same time, I wanted to use something that I haven't really used before much. That I don't use as often. I can't think of any other lightweight. Well, the Mitsubishi Mirage, which is the same price. I could use it. Mitsubishi Mirage or Honda Civic. Either one of them would work. Nissan doesn't have any lightweight. Mazda has the Demio, but it's too expensive because it's new. It's really my only choice is the Civic or the Mirage. Or a Del Sol.
And a CRX will pop up in here too. Yeah, the S13 Sylvia K is really good. Well, the, yeah, with Lidl, I'm trying to be really strategic here because I want to get a lightweight FF car. I could go with the Sylvia K or something, but that would that would really um, put me into a problem because you see, I have I have to do these here. So I for, so. I'm basically, for my FR car, I'm wanting it to probably be an American car so that I can enter this championship here. Whereas these two championships, I can use the Japanese car. So, it, you know, this doesn't matter that much. But this one, I need either a British or an American car for that. And it's going to have to be a front engine rear wheel drive. So I can't really get it. I can't really get a front engine rear wheel drive Japanese car if I'm going to do it. Uh, you know, if I need to do this, you get what I'm saying. So yeah, it's a little bit complicated. A little bit complicated. But let's go ahead and go for the A-Class. License, I guess. Oh yeah, yeah, and then this, the 88 Super also. I'll go for that. Um, the Chevy Impala. I know on Forza Horizon 4 and 5, they had the 69 Impala, I think, which was pretty close. And it was it was a two door. Yeah, the Honda Civic Type R Civic Racer in this game. It counts as a new one though, so I wouldn't be able to afford that. Even though it is lightweight, for sure. bronze there. No? Yeah, a good four drive. Evo or the GTR. Well, I have something in mind. Come on, super. Pulsar. Yeah, the Pulsar is a good little car. I think occasionally you might be able to get it less than 10,000 credits. Yeah, the Pulsar is a uh, all-wheel drive. They they don't have a they don't have a front-wheel drive Pulsar in this game. They only have the GTI. Is it GTI or GTI? <laughs> I'm horrible. I love the Pulsar, but I was never never as obsessed with it as I was the Celica GT4. And besides, the Pulsar sadly kind of disappeared after GT2. I think, was it GT4 or 6? I don't remember it being in there. I felt like I took that pretty cleanly, but probably could have been faster. This would be a good four-wheel drive car, wouldn't it? R13. 
33 scout. Oh, Granny, I'll be playing this probably many more times. I'm kind of obsessed with this game. <laughs> But, you know, I don't want to overwhelm people with the same game over and over again. So, I usually, I play all kinds of different things to mix it up. Like, me, I'll, I'll, be in the, I'll be in a real mood to play something. But then I may go, I'll go a long break and just want to play other things. But I'll always come back to it. the prelude. Well, got a gold on that first attempt. Well, so far, I've done all these on the first attempt, you know. I haven't flown off the track like an idiot yet, surprisingly. It's giving me time, though. I'll be bound to do it on one of the IATs. <laughs> MR2, one of my favorite cars. Well, that was... That was bad, wasn't it? Surprised I didn't get a bronze. <laughs> well, Alex, you'll have to see. I want it to be a little bit of a surprise, although everybody is going to find out in this session. I already do have it in my mind what I'm going to use. I'm not, there's a little bit of flexibility though. But I, I do know which all wheel drive and um, rear wheel drive I'm going to use. The front wheel drive though is still open a little bit. I don't know if I want to go with a Mirage or a Civic. I think um, A7 was one of the few tests that I actually did on my first attempt when I played this game. However many years ago that was for the first time. Yeah, I figure I might as well just knock the license test out. I might do the Sunday Cup, though. It, it depends on if I decide to go ahead and buy my car or not. If I do find something, if I do find exactly what I want to buy, I'll go ahead and do the Sunday Cup, maybe. Yeah, in the International A license, they're all, um, well, it's just the Viper and the Griffith, really. It's all you use. Weird how they did that in this game. You know, in GT2, they did a different car for every test. I think I should have way too early there. Oh, yeah, I did awful on this. Oh, that's so ugly. Well, I got my first bronze. Oh, man. I, yeah, I love this game soundtrack. Um, as I've been editing my uh, long play, I've been editing the music onto there because, you know, I cut out, I'm cutting it, I'm turning off the music so I don't have the race music because it's all copyrighted. But I'm editing on the game's music, you know, and the soundtracks to play, like when you start a race and when you win a race and all that stuff. 
Okay, so let's see what we got now. It should have changed because we're past day 10. Okay, it did change a little bit. Okay, we have a Silver Del Sol. Could go with that. But we still have this Blue Civic, which is actually... That's probably the strongest choice, really. A Green Del Sol. Okay, and the Blue Civic. And... Okay, we have two Mirages. Oh, that's an interesting color. Alright, what do y'all think? Is it time to make our decision? Uh, the Pulsar is just right above 10,000. But sadly, it's not lightweight. Oh, yeah, the Dodge Chevys, too. Yeah, they're all FRs. Yeah, they all are in this game. All the, all the American cars and the British cars are all FR in this game. So that really does limit what I could do. All right, so Civic Hatchback. All right, so we'll go with this. All right, we got our first car. All right, have a good night, Alex. Granny, you said don't get the Civic Sedan. <laughs> it's a Civic Sedan bad. What was our lineup? Yeah, this car actually is definitely the strongest option we have. As far as a lightweight F5 car. I don't drive as good with this view, but I'll try. Civic Sedan looks angry. Multiverse, are you still here? By the way, I put some commands in the in the chat if you are interested. I haven't tested them all to make sure they work. I I, I said the chat. I meant the uh, <laughs> the description. I have not heard about Pizza Tower Little. What, what happened with it? What is it, exactly? Alright. Speed through the menus. Well, y'all know the first car I'm using, but what will I use for the second car? the third car. You won't have to wait that long to find out.
You know, a Viper would work. Do y'all want me to be overpowered, though? I mean, I could use a Viper. You know what, I hardly do use the Viper when I play this. I like this city. Copperhead. Well, I can only use that though if I. I can only use that if I got the gold B license. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this does have BT, although I'm not a professional on car engines and all that. Now, my friend Tucker, he would definitely know. Well, the thing is, real fan, I'm doing a three-car challenge, so I'm using a lightweight FF car, and then I need a four-wheel drive, preferably a four-wheel drive car or a rear-wheel drive car. Well, a rear-wheel drive car will have to be either a British one or an American one because that's the only thing I could do the UK or you know, the UK versus USA cut with. So, and then, you know, an all-wheel drive car that I could, well, since I had to do mega speed, the all-wheel drive could be something that could handle the mega speed. I don't know if I want to use a Viper. But if y'all want me to, I could. I was thinking of using a Chevrolet. The new Grand Valley Highway? No, I have not seen it. Yeah, the Viper RT-10 is actually cheaper than the than any of the TVRs, and not much more expensive than a Corvette or a Skyline or something. You know? Remember, as a kid, I would always use the use the Viper RT-10 and I would grind the normal car championship. Just do it over and over again. Really was the best way to make money. And it was so easy, you know.
Yeah, well, we haven't got to any of the interesting stuff yet. Yeah, well, I like I, I like them both. Stop uh, with the regular body style, but with the racing modification, I really like the GTS better. Without the racing modification, though, I like them both pretty much equally. Alright, day 21. Okay, so obviously I'm not going to use this Demio because I can only have three cars and well. This is not going to be one of the three cars. <laughs> so we're going to seal it. Alright, let's see here. I think we're going with this. I don't know. I need a, all, a powerful all-wheel drive car. So I could either use that or Skyline. Skylines are way more expensive though. But it's way lighter weight as well. Which is a big plus. I was thinking... I was thinking of the Camaro real fan. See, the Camaro is a car that gets hardly any love when anybody plays this game. But... I was thinking of giving it some love. But I do love me a good Corvette. I'm gonna go with this one because it looks really nice. Although I do like the black as well. Okay. Well, this is our second car. Here we go. Okay, well, Housesider the Impreza, I could get a new one for 30000 which is actually pretty good. But... With this GTO, I should have no trouble winning the Mega Speed. Okay, I don't have the NSX. Oh no. Oh no. The game is not responding. I've never had this happen. Oh my god. Okay, well, I'm going to save it. <laughs> I haven't done a whole lot. I've, wow, I've only been live 40 minutes. But still, I don't want to redo what I've done. So let's save. Hey, Ian White. That has actually never done that before, to me before. So that was kind of scary. Okay, well, we, we gotta have the NSX, though. Because this normal car championship's not gonna be any fun if I don't have it. Oh, hey, Peek, I'm surprised you're up this late. How are you doing? Okay, game. Really? You're gonna... You're... You're gonna not give me the NSX two times in a row. What is going on? Hey, Mr. Total Thou. Yeah, I just saved it. Okay, we got the NSX now. Golly, look, look at our stats. Look at how heavy this GTO is <laughs> compared to everything else. Oh my goodness, man. Same amount of power as the um, R33, but almost 400 more pounds. Honest. We can do this, though. 
Maybe. This might be the hardest thing in this whole playthrough then. This and the Tuning Card Championship. Oh, I got a pop up. I can't see the chat now. I'll use playing a game with Video Nut. Well, how'd that go? What were y'all playing? Video Note was playing Crash earlier when I was watching the stream. Okay, the TRD went off. Okay. Now, Operation Catch NSX, which is what every one of these races is going to be. Hopefully, all the audio, the game audio, is balanced with the music. Hopefully, the music ain't too loud. It's so weird because when I go back and watch the streams, they always sound way different than what it sounds in my ears. Audio is always something that's difficult to get perfect for. Oh, y'all are playing Call of Duty? Wow. That's not something I would expect y'all to play. Sorry, NSX, I didn't mean to. Actually, I did. You're ready in the century. This car, for its weight, handles pretty decently. Grand Turismo 1 did give a lot of love to the GTOs. Huh? It's basically 3000 GT, whatever you want to call it. All right, easy, but <laughs> the next races will not be so much. 2021 use the Dodge Viper. Is that one uh, use the Viper for this? Oh, hey, Video Nut. You were here just in time to see me ram that NSX. And wow, the Subaru actually beat the TRD. That's actually funny. It's actually funny. <laughs> Three car challenge. Looks like you're putting the man who had sex with this car to shame. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, real fan. That's actually what I was planning on using. Yep. The 30th anniversary of Camaro. Unless y'all talked me out of it and talked me into using something else. That's what I was planning on using. Alright. Sweet. So yeah, I, I can't redo any of these championships, so I'm really gonna have to be careful with my funds. All right, now this race could be pretty hard. I don't have to win every race exactly. I just have to win the championship. I'm going to try to win every race. So. 
I definitely need to win this one though. Draft of Park City. Good, I got to run the TRD because it can really slow you down a lot. By the way, video nut and Pika, the Streamlabs chatbot that I had completely died, so I lost everything I had in it, all the bosses and all that stuff. So all I really have now is Streamlabs, but I can still do the giveaways and song requests and things like that. I don't know why we're going the first two, that was not smart. Okay, he's going to pull away here, and I don't think I got his dress. about how we were at the last lap. Am I any closer at all? I'm not sure. If I can get any closer though, I'll be close enough to grab them. Okay, which I think I am now. I'm going to drag you this time bad for you. He's not pulling away as much now. me up in this X. I tried to pass you cleanly. Looking forward to seeing you play this video, dude. That'll be fun to watch. Mama Mia. I know, right? <laughs> oh, no. not letting me get away. Okay. I think I got, I think I shook him. Lowest car. Say, so I've never used this before, but I've used a Skyline GTR. I've used, I think, the R32 and the 33. And the RX7. 
the concept car, and the Super Impreza. Yeah, I'm not sure which of those is exactly the slowest. Clubman say drought five. This one can be very hard. Might be the hardest one. Unless you are right. But what fun is that? Oh, this car is going to be on my inside. Yeah, knew that was gonna happen. Every little bit that the NSX pulls away is going to be that much harder to catch it. my y'all look look at this look at my dilemma he is already gone he's gone not knowing this one. that r33 really messed me up that first corner i should have blocked it Am I gaining on? I'm not really sure. Yeah, I think I think I am slowly. Need to do better than the slap them. Right here is where I missed it last. brakes too hard the car kind of swerves the opposite direction okay yeah we're getting a little closer to him Okay, yeah. 
This section right here is really the only one that I really gain on him. I get close enough to get a draft. Yes, I think so. No, that's a little dirty. I did him like the skyline did me <laughs> on the first lap. Yeah, Super Impreza. Pretty good choice for this. think about as I hear the Subaru music playing. Woo, how that was close. Golly, the gap between second and third and all these is just immense. Looking pretty good, I'm already pretty close to. That TRD is really keeping up with me in this. Off he goes. Oh my gosh, it's so much faster. So much faster. Oh my lord, help us.
be able to pull white enough here if I stay out of grass. Okay. Barring anything stupid happen like that. Should I have this? Well, because of my great driving, he's now caught up. <laughs> Oh, the NSX is a big beast. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, I could, did I not win with the console car? I know I didn't win every race, but I think I still won. I don't remember that. Wow. That desperate to get by me. You just effed yourself up. I know it's definitely winnable with the concept car, but really hard. Yeah, that was in the playthrough where I used that great webcam, wasn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I remember in a couple of those races, I kept making stupid mistakes. Or, you know, had major accidents, however you want to perceive it. reasons. I remember doing that a few times in, in my past. I'm going to win this one with a little comfortable gap. One more lift. Hey, X man, how, how's it going, man? You doing all right? Uh, last race of the normal car championship. I saw you there, Arc 7, trying to get by me. I'm 
glad you're doing good. You had a long day. I'm about to crash. I don't blame you. I'm probably about to crash, but in a different way. But yeah, I've, I've been pretty good. I I was taking a little break from work today, um, from my working on my college stuff. I was like, I'm not looking at it today because I spent all weekend working on it. But tomorrow I'll, I'll look at it. So today I've just been editing videos. Or editing a video, I should say. going for a master's in informational technology right now. I probably am going to go ahead and teach next year, but I haven't told them that I was yet. I'd put undecided on my form that we had to turn in. But yeah, man, these classes though, oh, I'm not having fun with them. But you know, what you do in your classes is not really necessarily at all how the, you know, the actual job would be necessarily. Yeah, I got the 92 GTO. Definitely a nice car. Okay, I got a way better exit. Only like 18,000 credits, I think. Or a little less than 19,000. Oh god, I broke a light. Uh. <laughs> oh my god, what was that? Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh wow, that actually worked. Surprised he did not mend to the wall at a much sharper angle. killing them well you know for financial reasons I was gonna do another year and plus um, another thing is teachers are getting a big raise in my state 
for the next school year. And that was one reason that I was starting to go back to college, uh, just because of the cost of living, just going up so much more than my salary was increasing every year, you know. Not that I do, you know, not that I do teaching anyway to, you know, to get rich, definitely not. You definitely don't become a teacher to be rich, for sure. Uh, it ain't no happen. But, but you at least need enough to survive on. You know. Golly, look how far back those four-wheel drives are. That's the that's the R33 GTR and the Impreza that are so far behind. But yeah, I don't know. Like I've, I've hated these classes so much that I've thought about just giving up on it. I'm on, I'm almost done with my second class, and I'll have 11 more. And I just like, I don't know if I can do this 11 more times. <laughs> So yeah, you're exactly right. Indeed. Uh, and you know that that's happening early in. I figured I would at least do one more because because uh, I'm the school year's about over and my second class is about to end in a couple of weeks. So I figure I'd do another one because I'll have less stress from work. I'll have less work stress going on at the same time while I'm taking class. And we'll see how it goes then. I'm telling you, they're working 50 hours a week, and then on top of that, working all weekend on college work is stressful. But the whole reason I did this in the first place was, like you say, because teaching was stressing me out so much. But I don't know. I kind of feel like we're always going to be stressed no matter what we do, aren't we? It seems that way. Through the through the summer, we'll see how the stage class goes. No, I guess we'll go from there. Yeah, you say it's inevitable. Yeah, I, I feel like it is. 
Well, I know why I went into teaching, because I enjoy helping other people. And, you know, and I do enjoy that aspect of it. But, thing is I am I'm a very introverted person and I don't uh, that's another thing I I kind of would like a job where I can just behind, do my work behind the scenes you know whereas with the teacher you have to be the one in charge you know which I do a pretty decent job I don't have hardly any behavior problems and stuff but um, you know, one thing that discourages me is just, I don't have any behavior issues necessarily, but I have students who just don't care about doing their work, and if they don't care if they pass, at least it seems their way. Um, sorry, Super, I love you, but you're going to have to go. So yeah, it's just, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to motivate some people who just don't want to be motivated it seems uh, it's really 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 rough to deal with okay let's get the last license so I don't have to worry about those anymore but yeah it really stresses me out you know just and all the stuff that we have to do you know like I always, I always have to work after school on grading stuff or making assessments or working on my lesson plans. And I have to work on the weekends to do that. And, and I don't get paid that much. I actually did the math and with all the hours that I put in, I was making like $13 an hour, which is barely above minimum wage in my state and for all the stress that I put up with you know and and having a master's degree oh, I'm driving like ass I mean, uh, that's pretty pretty horrible pay like people who people who don't have any college degree at all make more money than I do you know it's like I said it's not about the money but with the cost of living going up so much, you know, all the stuff you have to do, the low pay, and, you know, the disrespect you get, and just not being able to motivate people, it's a, it's, it's a lot, it's overwhelming. Yeah, be in it. Yeah, I think it will lead to a big downfall. Yeah, the whole education system needs to be completely, um, completely, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Enhanced, changed, re reformed, reformed the word I'm looking for. Yeah, I do call parents sometimes, and they want us to call parents all the time, but here's the thing about that. With all the hours I put in, and I would love to call parents and stuff, but here's the thing. There's a hundred of them. There's one of me, and parents can check their grade, their kids' grades at any time on eSchool. The thing we use, they can check at any time. So I don't really, I don't really call parents that much. I do sometimes, but I don't, I don't near as much as I probably should. But like I say, I already put in so many hours. And when I get off, I, I'm just so dead tired that I, I do not feel like calling parents when I, when I finally do go home. And I know it's just, I have no energy after, after I get off. But yeah, they want us to call parents a lot, you know, and that's anytime there's an issue. But I feel like there needs to be a huge whole reform of the system. 
you know, for example, get parents more involved in the in education besides putting so much on the teachers. Put a little bit more on the parents. Although I know parents, um, God, I know, <laughs> I know it's rough for them as well, you know. Yeah, Sean, uh, the last license is way easier to get all goes. I I am going for all, I normally do go for all goes when I play this game. Um, right now I'm working on editing a 100% long play and I'm getting all the goes in that. That's the only thing I'm not doing in this though because I'm, I only can use three cars and I don't want to use any of the go license cars. So I'm just going to take whatever I get on my first attempt of all these. Yeah, Lilo, I could keep the prize cars. But I figure I could use the credits and I can't I can't use I can't use any of them anyway. Or, you know, unless it is going to be one of the cars I'm going to use. One of the three cars. Normally, like if you look at my last playthrough, I did keep all the prize cars, I think. Normally, I do keep them all. Hey, Pamela, how are you doing? So glad that you came here to say hi. I know Gran Turismo is not really your thing, but I really appreciate your support. Oh, great, I hit that. Hey, Super Lazy Gamer, what is up, my Super Lazy comrade? Like myself, I'm Super Lazy. I don't know for a fact, but I feel like for these IA tests, I feel like the game probably puts sport uh, semi-racing tires or something on this Viper under fifth, but I'm not exactly sure. Could save them for after your challenge. Well, that's true. Of course, I got a silver on that when I used to suck on that. That wasn't too far off. Oh, Pamela, you're too sweet. Well, I mean, in that case, Lidl, I could always redo a championship to win a car back. The championships are all pretty short in this game. The longest championship only takes like 40 minutes, which would be the normal car championship. I probably will keep the Castro Super GT, though, from the... 300 km endurance when I do it. It'll be toward the end anyway. Because that's one that I probably won't redo. But I, ha I have another I have another file though in memory card slot too. That I can practice and stuff with. that I didn't sell any of the cars on. So how's everything going, Pamela? I know you moved fairly recently. Did that go all right? Oh crap, I did not mean to downshift to third. <laughs> Uh, any new projects coming up? Uh, well, Final Fantasy VII is probably going to take a while, I imagine. Probably going to take a while to do that. I don't know how long, but I figure it's probably a fairly long game. It's going to be hell for you when you tempt this. But yeah, you will be going for all the golds once you...
It might be something that you want to save for the end of the game, though, getting all the golds. But I don't know. Maybe you want to knock it out at the beginning. I almost missed it. Oh. I barely stay on the road there. Missed that by a nose hair. Yeah, don't worry. I'll I'll be able to give you plenty of helpful advice when you play this video in, it, in regards to tuning and stuff like that, you know, and tips, what to use where and all that. Yeah, it takes a lot of practice. My first year teaching, I was um I was very very that was way too easy going. But over time, you know. Well, even just a few years ago, I'm on year 11 right now. But even as little as four years ago, I had a lot of trouble. But that was with seventh grade as well. I don't think I'd ever go back to that again. Slowed down way too much there. I love this song. I actually have been listening to it in my playlist. The, and this is actually the Aston Martin dealership soundtrack. On the Japanese version. It sounds so relaxing. I was listening to it last night before I went to bed. <laughs> Too bad Aston Mar the Aston Martins in this game are very weak. Oh, okay, I didn't fail that somehow. I sh that should have been a fail. <laughs> but no, it's not a fail, it's a gold. Okay. <laughs> Team Acura, or is it Team Honda? I mean, they're pretty much the same. Burnout? Yeah, um, I know that somebody's working on achievements for Burnout Takedown right now. That is definitely one that I look forward to doing. The thing is, Video Nut, um, at least when you play this, you won't have the traffic and crap to worry about. I think you'll be fine on the races, but getting gold on the licenses is going to be a pain in the balls. It's going to be an actual pain in the balls. The IA license is actually pretty easy. I usually can get all of those in my first or second attempt. Except for high speed ring and Grand Valley Speedway. Sometimes those might might take up to five attempts, maybe. Maybe. A lot of times on Grand Valley Speedway I just do stupid stuff like run off the road.
Special sites are out of living though. This track's my baby. I was so sad that they changed the tracks so much to GT3. And that the track wasn't even in GT2 at all. They did make it really pretty in GG3, but... Hey, Fertilance. How are you doing? Aston Martin's a week in Need for Speed. You know, in Need, in Need for Speed Underground, there wasn't even any Aston Martin, was there? Acura in the American conversion. Yeah, well, yeah, I know. Well, Honda and Acura, you know, basically together. Hey, Space Bay. Good to see you, Miles. Oh, they ruined your burnout game. That sucks, Pamela. Man, uh, I don't know if Burnout Takedown's the one you played. Burnout 3 Takedown. That was the one that I played as a team, and I loved it so much. Well, this will be completely different than Need for Speed Underground. You did pretty good, though, when you were racing with me in Forza. Forza Horizon 4. I think it was 4. Was it 5? I don't... It was one of those. You'll do fine. I know you're going to do fine on all the races. Gold licenses, though. Ooh. Unless you, unless I would actually say, video nut for your first time playing it, I wouldn't even worry about getting all golds on the licenses. Just, just enjoy the game, and then if you if you really do like how it plays and everything, I would say. Then go for all the goats and losses. But for your first plate there, I just try to get all the championships done. You know? I think you'll have a lot more fun doing that. Because it does take a lot of practice. I know when I first played the game, it was years before I was ever able to get all the goats. Well, I don't know how many years, but it was a while, let's just say that. Oh, you started another run of GT1? Still can't get going on any of the A licenses? Yeah, the A is... The A is probably the hardest one to get all gold in. The I is the easiest. The A is the hardest. And it takes a lot of practice, especially B and A. But the only ones that are really easy on A, I think, are number seven and five. It's probably, yeah, and those are the two that I did get all goes on, or did get goes on. And then I got a bronze on that one, because, yeah, I don't like that test. No. So... Okay, so our three-car challenge here. We got two of the three cars, but what could the third car be? Yeah, I mean, I like I said, real fan, I could get all golds. I mean, I could probably get them. I could probably get all golds in less than five minutes because I only have high-speed ring in Grand Valley. But I need a rear-wheel drive car for my third car. And the Nismo 400R is not roll drive, so I'd have to sell it or just not use it. So, hmm, what am I going to use? Nice, right, let's get in you, baby. Let's get in you. 
you can't tell what car to use. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, sadly, there is no MR challenge in this game. It's just, um... Yeah, no MR challenge. I'm gonna go ahead and get these weight reductions. All I'm gonna do is get weight reduction and tires. Tires are the best upgrade in this game. I actually watched some playthroughs of people playing this game, and they never upgrade the tires, and I'm just like, wow. Because it, it just... If that's... Like, that's the best thing that you want to upgrade. Your lap times are going to be so much better. Yeah, I know you love your NSXs, though. You play G2 1 through 4... Yeah, your first time playing it. Seriously, I got you. Yeah, so we have similar power to all these, so that's why I really don't need to do any tuning for this. So all I really needed was the, the uh, tires. And I went ahead and did the weight reduction, because we're still way heavier than everybody else. Yeah. Fertilants, don't feel bad about it. I, I don't even remember how many years it took me. Like, I, I started playing this game when I was 10. And I don't remember when I was able to get all goats. I just, it would, I just know I would try them over and over again for hours. Whenever I did finally make my mind up that I wanted to do it. And it was not easy. Now, now I can do it. I, I'll tell y'all, um, when I was recording for my long play, just over the last week, it only took me an hour and a half to get all goats for all the licenses. That's the B, the A, and the I. Only an hour and a half. I know that sounds like a lot, but you know, it's just so hard. So, but now in the past, that would be something that would take me many hours to do. You know? An hour and a half was a joke, you know. It would have been like eight hours, probably. It probably still would be eight hours if I tried to get all the goats on Gran Turismo 4. For one thing, there's so many on that one. Oops. Our GTO handles so much better now. Upgrading tires feels like cheating. I don't really think so, because look at how the AI is keeping up with me. They upgraded their tires. I never I never say it as cheating in this game when the AI keep up with you just fine on the handling. The only way you can really pull away from them is if you have a extremely overpowered car. With good, with good, good aim. Yeah, their their handling is fine. This MR2 behind me definitely has racing super softs. It's very silly not to upgrade the tires. But yeah, here's the thing that people were doing in the playthrough. They'd upgrade their car to like four, 400 horsepower for this, four to 500 horsepower, but not upgrade the tires. And so <laughs> they, they would be very, very powerful in the straights, but they would handle like ass. So yeah, upgrade the tires, definitely. It's not a cheat. Yeah, the Takata and the Six, is that your favorite? Which one was my favorite? I think the Raybrig was my favorite because it was a pretty blue color. Hey, Ian White, was up? 
full mod support. Oh, that'd be cool. You know what I thought of? I just thought of it today. I can't believe I didn't think of it earlier. Not that it did any good to think of it, but I I was thinking if ever you could hack Gran Turismo, like, like a, you know, I've hacked zombies like my neighbors. If there was ever some kind of a way to hack Gran Turismo, one thing I would like to do is to make it to where any eligible car could be seen as an opponent in any of the championships. So just imagine the Toon Car Championship. You would have any car. You could you could be versing any car. Now obviously they would need to be similarly tuned. You know I wouldn't. For example, the Super RZ is around 612 horsepower. I think in that. So if I added, you know, another similar car, I wouldn't. T you know, I wouldn't tune it up to like 900 horsepower. It would just be tuned similarly. But I think that'd be really cool, you know. Or for the normal car championship, you could say any car in it. Just imagine all the possibilities. Although in the normal car championship, it probably I don't know if you, I don't know if you should make the Viper eligible for that <laughs> as an el eligible opponent, the Viper or any of the TBRs. I don't think that'd be a good idea. But anything else, the Aston Martins would be cool to see. The only place you even see the Aston Martin in this uh, in simulation mode. Well, no, the only place at all that you see it is the UK versus US or the UK versus Japan. I just thought it'd be cool you know, to see more cars in different places. But I'm probably dreaming of something that won't happen. But yeah, one thing, you know, Ian, that you got me kind of on this topic is I think it would be neat. Well, one thing I'd like to do is uh, play the enhanced version. Like, I know Tuz, he's, he's played an enhanced version of Jesus Who. I know they do have some enhanced versions, but just with minor differences. You know, I could try something like the Japanese version. I think there's some minor differences in that. You know, just to try all the different versions. <laughs> the Civic for G GT World Cup. Yeah, that would be really hard to win with. Hey, Everett Sunday Driver. Yep, I'm doing it. You know, I love me some Gran Turismo 1. Oh, yeah, you're talking about adding some cars. Yeah, yeah, in a modded version. Now, Ferdinand, I'm glad you agree with me about the tires. Yeah, I think I did, um, I don't remember, I did use the concept car in one of my playthroughs on the channel. I don't remember if I won or not. I know I didn't win every race, but I might have still won the championship. But it is, it's definitely doable with the concept car. I, I was making a lot of mistakes and I still won or almost won it, I can't remember. That was a few years ago. I think that was my first playthrough on the channel that I posted. And now I had that cringy webcam on it. <laughs> if you go back and watch that, please, please ignore the webcam. Yeah, it definitely can be done. But, but very difficult. With, with the NSX as an opponent. If you try to do it without the NSX as an opponent, then it actually wouldn't be that difficult at all. These little suckers keeping up with me.
So how are you doing, Tucker? Are you having any kind of spring break or or not? Yeah, I'm probably going to go. I noticed when I did my 100% playthrough, it was around 10 hours. So I'm thinking if I go around 3 hours per session, 3 to 3 and a half hours, I should be able to. I should be able to get pretty close to 100% in this. So, love when it happens. <laughs> um, this is Gran Turismo One, Tucker. Yeah, so the physics. Yeah, the chicane is definitely not. The, with most most cars, with the uh, racing soft tires, you can take it full throttle. Oh, you had a spring break last week. Oh, that sucks. But you had it um, not at the same time as me. Yeah, yeah, Tucker, last week I was still working and stuff, so I really wasn't, I didn't feel like doing very much. Yeah, my spring break's just now starting. Hey, hey, Steve, how is it going? Hopefully it's going well. I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good. Thank you for asking. Yeah, your spring break's the same as mine, real thing. Yeah, Game of Thrones probably isn't for everybody. Alright, y'all. Well, I think this is going to be my third car. I'm going to use, and that's going to make, yeah. yeah, I think that's what I'm going to use, the Camaro, yep, so we have all three cars now that we're going to use in this playthrough, so what championship to do next, let's do, let's do the all-wheel drive championship, got both of those done, let's do the all-wheel drive now. <laughs> oh, Pamela. <laughs> Game of Thrones, basically a porno. <laughs> oh, well, you know, you're not really exactly wrong. Because there <laughs> there are a lot of very, very, um, yeah, a lot of those scenes in there. However, there is, there's a lot more that happens in that. There's a lot of story. Which I, I watch it for the story, not for the porn. <laughs> it does have a good story, and the characters are great. The characters are interesting. However, that being said, yeah, it's definitely not for everybody. Yeah, I didn't add any power to this GTO, so. Man, y'all are all fighting me.
I'm telling you, they keep, they keeping up really well. All spring, y'all, you know. You know spring is never behaving herself. Well, Tucker, I'm sorry you had a boring spring break. Yeah, and that is really about, <laughs> like you say, that's that's all I did last week was um, work and work on college work and then watch Game of Thrones. That was pretty much it. That was my week last week. Yeah, I feel like I'm already that to a robot. That's what I feel like. Work, sleep, and eat. Okay, I don't like how you're getting so close to me. Get your big booty back there, right now. Super. Oh crap! Oh crap! Whoo! That was close. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you, Pamela. Like I said, it's definitely not for everybody. <laughs> when I see that, I just... <laughs> I don't know why, but I just laugh. I think it's funny. Like, <laughs> I don't... I just laugh at it. It's like, wow, this is actually happening. Oh, yeah. Spring brings... Get your brings your allergies out. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of shows kind of go that way. For the original Star Wars. Oh crap. I did not mean to take out that knee song. I think you gotta be careful with this car if you break too hard it'll crazy. I can I drive like so, I drive so bad in this view. Yeah, I heard that um, Game of Thrones gets pretty bad. The last couple of seasons I heard were pretty bad. Right, right now I'm keeping an open mind. Though. Right now we're in season five and it's still pretty good. In my opinion. Oh yeah, yeah, self esteem. Ooh, y'all are faster than I am. 
I didn't even look at the inch at least. I'm definitely underpowered in this. Come on, Selick, I say you want the pass there. Yeah, there's so much blood in it, though. There's a lot of pretty gruesome scenes. But I've become, I've become very desensitized. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah, I've become very desensitized as to what bothers me. You know, like, I would say eight years ago, I never would watch anything like this, ever. And now, I'm just like, oh, it's just... Perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah, how it made it past censorship. <laughs> I'm telling you, it doesn't seem like anything is censored, though. I don't really... I don't think anything censored. They show everything. Pulls no punches. Yeah, I, that's the thing. I yeah, I never really did watch South Park. When I would run across it on Cartoon Network when I was a teenager, you know, like I said, I was never would watch anything like that then. But. You know, now I probably wouldn't mind it quite as much. Let's see how underpowered we are. Well, well we have similar horse. Our horsepower is pretty close, but now we're not that underpowered. Not that underpowered. We're a little heavier. The R33 has more power, but a little more weight. A storyline porno. And uh, the thing is, I mean, with porn, though, there's really not any story, is there? Whereas with this, I mean, the sex scenes are there, but that's definitely not what the show's about. You know, that's not the thing of the show at all. But yeah, there is, there is a lot of it. I would say, I'd say probably every episode, or almost every episode has some kind of explicit scene.
No <laughs> Celicus won't in the past that Skyline. Have a good one, Steve. I will pass your words along the screen. Oh, yeah, Pamela. Yeah, that was disgusting with uh, seeing him breastfeed. Yeah, that was. <laughs> oh, yeah, there are a lot of very disturbing things. <laughs> that was one of the most. Hey, DJ Prez. How are you doing? Disney's petting some shady stuff in the kids' shows. All right, Ladle. Yeah, yeah, way too political. Well, Ladle, if you gotta go, I hope you have a good one. Yeah, yeah, and he's way too old to be doing that. Yeah, that's that's why it was so disturbing. <laughs> it really was. That was a little too much. Oh, I got my FR car, Lidl. We're going to be using the Camaro. Oh, I don't want to sell the SVX. I like the SVX. I'm going to keep it, but I cannot use it. These top three are the only ones I'm going to be using. So, yeah, we're only using these top three cars. It's all that I'm allowed to use. I better save, too. I haven't saved in a while. All right, let's see. Try to knock out all the little stuff. Let's see, let's do the. Let's get in that Camaro. Let's get in this bad mama here. And all I'm gonna do is tires and weight reduction. I'm gonna leave everything else stock. Oh, yeah, the Prelude is a good car. I really do love it as well. Yeah, DigiPrez, for this for this playthrough, I'm doing something different where I'm trying to just use three different cars, or only three cars, one FR car, one FF car that's lightweight, and then a four-wheel drive car. And I have to use only these three cars for all of the championships. So that's what we're trying to, trying to do here. Okay, so let's do the FR challenge. So what's our opposition here? Mm, I'm pretty similarly powered. So about the same weight as the Sylvia K, a little bit lighter, and a little bit less power. So yeah, we're actually a little bit heavier than the 91 Sylvia. So yeah, we're pretty even, and then we have the IE86. But it's way lighter. Oh, the Camaro, I don't really see many people ever using this when they play this, the playthrough this, uh, the playthroughs that I've seen. But uh, my experience with the Camaro is it's actually pretty good. Sadly, it only tunes up to like 415 horsepower though, so that is, that is kind of 
little bit underpowered, but we'll make it work. Oh, it's got these long gears, gosh. They got the stock transmission on it. I'm kind of glad that I'm not upgrading it anything, though. So we can see, you know, the stock gearing. It does pretty good in the low RPMs, though. We're pulling away this much. Hey, Timothy. Oh, this is the GOAT. It definitely is. Gran Turismo 1 is definitely the GOAT. Greatest of all time. I really do love Gran Turismo 4, and it might be my favorite in the series. But, God, I do love GT1, and I love GT2 as well. It's re It really is hard for me to pick a favorite. But I probably do have the most hours in this one. And this is the one that I do the most playthroughs of. For one thing, it's shorter. I feel like it's really the perfect length. For one, th uh, one thing, like when I play Gran Turismo 4 or Gran Turismo 2, 2 isn't so bad. It's not, not near as long as 4. But I feel like, for example, GT4 and 5, they're just so long that midway through them, I, I lose interest. It's not that I don't love the game, but midway through playing them, I lose interest and I won't play something else. Whereas with the Gran Turismo 1, I could do a whole playthrough. You know, I could do two or three playthroughs before I lose interest because it's the perfect length. Oh, I do. I love this Camaro. I like the orange stripes on it. I know that may not be a popular opinion. Oh, the Sylvia 95K just died. What happened? I want to see. Well, thank you, Timothy. I'm glad you found us. Indeed, glad you found us. I hope you're doing well and everything. Oh, I bet it died on the first corner. That's probably what happened. I was surprised I out accelerated them all like that. I really love the 180 or the, the 240 and the 180 SX. I love both of these cars. Sadly, I can't use them in this playthrough because <laughs> I'm restricting myself to just using the same three cars. Hey, if y'all come up with any other ideas you want me to try, like for a challenge, and let me know. I do love playing this game, so any excuse to play it again and again. Yeah, well, Ian, you're exactly right. Like, all of the American cars and the British cars in GT1 really don't tune near as much as what they do in the later Gran Turismo's. Starting in Gran Turismo 2, for example. They're quite a bit better in 2. But that being said, they're still still pretty good. Like and they're fully tuned and race and modified. The TVRs, even though they only get like 430 horsepower, are still very, very good. And the, the Viper gets like about 600, I think. And needless to say, it's really good. Corvette's really good, Camaro's good even though it only gets 415. Y'all are going to see just in this playthrough you're going to see just how good the Camaro is. I don't think it'll disappoint you. We will go for the full racing mod eventually. 
But right now, I, I'm tr right now I'm trying to take care of all the the stuff that's uh, lower, all the stuff that you have to do without a racing mod. Because there are some championships that you cannot enter if you have racing modification. So I don't want to apply that until I get all of those out of the way. Well, there's yeah, I think there's really only one championship. The hard tune car championship. But I'm trying to do all these championships as well so that I'm not overpowered. Like for the FR championship. I mean, really all I need for this is like 279 horsepower. Because as y'all see, I'm, even though I'm equally powered with them, I'm just out driving them so we're I'm actually impressed though, because uh, with, with this Camaro, I didn't think I'd be leaving them like this. Because when I did this exact same championship with the TRD 3000 GT, I wasn't leaving them like this. Oh, but I don't think I did the weight reduction though. I think I only put tires on it. That might explain it. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Did you, Briz? Yep. The yeah. Thank you for reminding me about that. That um, special stage route 11 endurance. The second one. This re reverse. You can't. You can't have race modification for it either. So yeah, we will. Yeah, we we'll want to make sure we get that done and the hard tune car championship before we do any race modifications because I don't want to accidentally screw myself, you know. Which I think I'll be fine, but because I mean, I could just use one of my other cars. Is your kitten enjoying the race, Pamela? <laughs> it keeps hitting the screen trying to get the car. Hey, she's helping me to go faster. She's pushing my car. Oh, the Sylvia died again. Who's in second now? Is it the 240SX? I think it is. I love the sound of this Camaro's engine. You now the Camaro and the Viper, they stand out as having a very distinct sound. Some of the Toyotas do. They also have a very distinct sound. One that really comes to mind is the Toyota Corona Exit or EX4, I'm not exactly sure what it's called. A little four-door Toyota. I like the sound of that car. Not sure why. Quite different than the Camaro with its little four cylinder, but sounds cool. Sounds very cute. Hey, hey, we're winning, so your kitten probably is helping. It seems weird never getting out of never getting out of third gear. <laughs> Oh, they're gaining on me. Better watch yourself. 240SX.
Well, real fan, I know for sure I'm not going to use the GTO for the World GT World Cup because that'd be too overpowered. But I'll probably use either this Camaro or the or the Civic. The Civic, no way would I win every race. There's no way, but winning it maybe. Obviously, that won't be in this session, though. Doing underpower, okay. Do an underpowered challenge in GT1 where you have to be underpowered, where it's really challenging, like using console car versus NSX. Oh, yeah, I do everything where I'm really underpowered. I could try to do that for a future, a future uh, playthrough. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, that's what I was asking about, GT1. Because GT2 is just too long to play through it all over again. Definitely could try it. It would have to be where I could redo the championships over, you know. Alright, I'm still in this. I'm keeping the NS the SVX though, I don't know why, but I'm keeping it. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Um, what championship should I do next? Uh, yeah, let's take care of the other... Let's get in our Civic here. Let's take care of our other B-License championships. So, of course, we're going with tires. I think the other cars have around 200 horsepower. So... Yeah, 229... That's all I'm going to do for now. I think we're going to be pretty similarly powered. I don't think we're going to be overpowered. Yeah, we're pretty, pretty even with them. How about this? If I use the Camaro for the hard tune car championship, I'm going to be underpowered. I think that's going to be a good challenge in this playthrough. Now, if I do a playthrough, uh, if I do like a really challenged playthrough, an underpowered, the only championship that I wouldn't really be able to make a challenge would be Sunday Cook. Because no matter what I use, that's just going to be easy to win. Everything else, though, I can make really hard.
the E86 got set. Give the other cars a five second head start. You want me to do that on this race? Give them a five second head start. All right, Pamela, let's do that. We won that too easily, didn't we? Alex Bentley, you won the. You know, I think that's what I'm going to use on the 300 km endurance. I think I'm going to use the uh, the GZO. All right, they got a five second head start. Hopefully I didn't just screw myself. <laughs> Come on, little Civic. I already talked to him, yeah. I usurped control in less than one lap. AE86 is fast. Yeah, Hondas really are overpowered FF cars. I probably should have gone with the Mitsubishi Mirage. Make it a little more challenging. Yeah, I caught up really quick, didn't I? Oh, he's gaming on me. Uh, how about on this one, a 10 second head start? That's probably really stupid, ain't it? Go, grannies, go, go, go! There's a little bit of rubber banding in this game, though, like if you're in some of the champ in the in the championships where you have to have a B license. Like if you are doing really poorly they will kinda wait on you a little bit. Just like they do in arcade mode. Unless it's on hard. And now whenever I pass them they'll they'll keep the Dang, Demio, look at you fighting back. How are y'all pulling away from me? How is this possible?
I added power, but I'm not overpowered. I'm the same power as they are. We're pretty much all equal. Okay, I'm going to start really driving the wheel. Yeah, the Unos Roadster. The Unos Roadster, though, you can use for a lot of things. Just, um, I mean, it'll even, it, it's even capable of winning, like, the U.S. versus Japan if you pull a tune and put the racing modification on it. You can win and stuff like that. Uh, you can win that with it, but the GT, the GT, uh, Cup, not the GT World, but you can win with it. <laughs> the power of a family station wagon for the win. <laughs> yeah, then Preza wagon is pretty good. It's a pretty good car. The Legacy is pretty good as well. Then Preza is better though. FF Challenge next. Oh, speaking of Unos Roadster, I just got me one. I actually really do like that color, but I don't know to sell it. Or should I just... I mean, I could always win another one anytime. Hey, I'll keep it just for the... Back in our Civic here. Shouldn't need to do anything for the FF Challenge. Now what's our starting lineup? Oh, okay. I might be a little overpowered for this. Uh-oh. I wasn't really overpowered for the lightweight, but a little bit for this one. The Eclipse has more power, but geez, look how much heavier it is. On the other Civic 933 door, you say that it's only tuned up to 208, but it is a little bit lighter. Yeah, it'll be all right. They'll, they'll keep up with me regardless. Oh, it, it is definitely capable. The Unos Roadster. But, make sure you upgrade the tires, uh, racing softs. And then, you know, add, add the power to it. It's very lightweight, so it's actually pretty quick. You know, it would be pretty quick for the like the FR challenge, for example, if it's full of tune. Eclipse, I don't walk like the way you're looking at me. God, I cannot drive in this view very well. Yeah, the light cars, um, 
I think the Unos Roaster it will, but uh, but it has to be one that you buy. It can't be one that you that you uh, won. I don't know why that one doesn't count. It's really bizarre. The same thing with the Civic CRX that you win. I don't think it's allowed in the lightweight either, even though it, the CRX is a car that's eligible. Y'all keeping me nice and close, I see. Oh yeah, Demio is really good for the for the lightweight K Cup and the FA Challenge. Major oversteer with issues with Corvette. Yeah, you do you do definitely have to be careful with it. Yeah, it is a game bug. It really is. It really is silly. Yeah, it's definitely a bug, though. See my favorite track in the game next for the first time this playthrough, except for the last assist. The Route 11 Endurance used the CRX Del Sol LM. Oh, the MR2. The MR2 is an interesting choice. Yeah, speaking of major overseer, you really had to be careful with that MR2. With how you tune it, or it could be quite an unruly beast. Oh, the MR2 didn't give you any trouble. Wow. Well, I, that's really good. I'm surprised you had trouble with the uh, with the Corvette then, because the Corvette's way easier to drive to me than the MR2 is. I mean, I can drive the MR2 easily, but I I, I have to be more careful with it. MR2 wasn't full power. Oh, 
Oh god. Change of this view I'm driving so bad. No Japanese cars allowed, except for four-wheel drive challenge. If that challenge in Lightweight Cup only, Japanese cars can enter. The first car, a concept car. <laughs> so I'd have to get all goes in the B license. And I would, I would have to have a Japanese car. Yeah, I'd have to have a Japanese car, like you say, for the FF challenge, Lightweight. Forward ride challenge. Furthermore, I'd have to have a Japanese car for. Oh no, you're right. That's all of it. I wouldn't have to have it for Japan versus any of those because I could just use one of those. That's an interesting idea, I like it. Yeah, that's a pretty cool idea. Yep, yeah, just four-wheel drive FF challenge. Lightweight cut. Yeah. yeah, everything else though I could do without a Japanese car. I don't really have trouble driving the FR cars max too. The only car that I find difficult to drive in this game. Which, probably the NSX LMGs too is the most difficult car to drive. Yeah, Viper Arch 10 is really good for the normal car cup. Oh, look, little OP. Hey, good night, Alex Miller. Or good night, Perkins. You're going to bed. Five in the morning, oh my goodness. Yeah, well, hope you sleep well, my friend, and I'll see you later.
Might do, if I make some decent progress tomorrow on my work, I may, may do another session of this. Alright, sorry CRX, but you gotta go. And what are those wheels? Okay, so now we got all of those B license ones done. We got the GT Cup. What should I use for the GT Cup? I can, and by the way, I can only use these top three cars. I, I'm keeping these for, I don't even know why, but I'm keeping them. So I guess we'll get back into Civic. And. Have a good night, Ferdinand. So yeah, we'll get back in the city. We'll full forward soon. We're gonna see what this baby's really capable of. Okay, I already got the turbo. Doesn't get the unit here. So I'm gonna save all the juicy stuff for the set for the next session and the session after. We're getting all the we're getting all the little stuff done in this session. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do the GT Cup, and we're going to do the Mega Speed Cup. Now technically Mega Speed is one of the big ones, but it's such a short and quick championship that I'm counting it as a small fry. Okay, and y'all know what I'm going to be using for that. <laughs> Which of the three cars? All right. What will we have here? No Viper. What a disappointment. It doesn't really matter. Though. Do we have a Sucker Fifth, though? All right, let's see. There is actually something I recently learned of um, in one of my friend's videos about if you max the rear downforce and you minimize the front you actually do get a little bit of acceleration boost and it doesn't seem to make handling that much worse okay, I'm gonna take all the pain drill I'm gonna leave this stuff Ratios. Okay, the reason I'm doing my last gear so short like this is because Pretty sure this does better at the high RPMs. Yeah, yeah, look at the graph there. You can see our power band is pretty good from 6,000 to 8,500 RPMs. It drops off pretty sharply though after 7,500, but it's still higher than it is at 6,000. So basically the Civic does good in the red line. 
GTO Ellen edition for the Mega Speak Up? You could. I actually use in my um, long play. I actually use the Chaser Ellen edition for it. And I easily won every race. But I can't use the Chaser Ellen edition in this because I only can use these three cards. I actually faster than the super, it has like 200 more horsepower. I do like this gearing way better. Well, I was way... I had less power, you know, before. Oh my gosh, I'm actually killing them. You want to see me use it? I don't remember if I ever have used it for the GT World Cup. I don't know if I ever have. Uh, it's it's good, but for the GT World Cup, you need to be a little better than good, though. Depending on the opposition, I probably could win. Couldn't win every race, but... I mean, we could try it. If it, if, it turn, if I can't win the trial mountain race, then I could just exit the championship, you know. Because if the trial mountain race is the second race, and if I can't win that one, then I pretty much couldn't win the championship. God, they're all sprayed out. The thing is, the Civic is better than than all other FF cars that you can start out with, except the FTO, the Prelude. Well, you can't even start out with the FTO then. 
The Primera probably is a little better. Yeah, it is better than a lot of the other starting cars, you know. But, of course, the Prelude's better, and the Supra, which you can start out with, is better. Sylvia K's better. The RX-7 is better. It is good, though. It was good. I mean, as you just saw, I gave him a whooping on that race. So yeah, the Super actually did come in second. Now, oh, the Skyline was last. This is the one championship where I'm not sure if the AI, besides the normal car championship, of course, that I'm not sure the AI has racing softs on. Because it really seems like they, they don't really, they just don't keep up in this championship. Uh, also, the same with the, um, the UK versus US and Japan versus US. They might have semi racing tires on those as well. I'm not sure. The back corner horrible. That's another thing about this car is if you drive it too aggressively because of the physics in the game, you can crane off control really easily. That's another downside, you know. Especially when you're having to really go try hard mode against cars that are way more powerful than you. Like the Castro Super GT and stuff like that. I know I have tried winning the GT World Championship with Atlantis before. And I was able to win with it. If I had a fairly forgiving opposition. And this might be pretty even with Atlantis. Even though the Atlantis has more power and is easier to control. It's a little heavier, it doesn't fly off the road like this did.
try it. <laughs> Surprising that life was about the same. Oh wow, the R33 got third in this one. Going praise a go. <laughs> it was tempting to be mean and <laughs> pump the TVR into that wall. You know another thing I like doing for fun sometimes when I play this game? Is uh, I go into a little challenge where I try to help our granny. Basically, in other words, one of the AI grannies that are like the, we the weakest car in the pack, I try to help it get second. You know, and of course myself at first. It is very hard to do though. In most of the situations. It gets very frustrating. Very frustrating. A few days ago I was trying to help the chaser. The chaser get um I was trying to help it beat all the other AIs in the Toon Car Championship. And oh my god, I was pulling my hair out. The poor chaser, it was trying, but it just just could not compete with the NSX and the RX-7 and the Skyline. And I was dying inside. Oh my goodness, third place. Is the Subaru still in third? It might be. It might be why there's such a huge gap. I don't know why they did that in this game, but in some of the championships, many of the cars, like for example the Subaru in this one, its transmission set to where it'll only go like 135 miles an hour top speed. So it just, it really is so, so slow. I mean, heck, I was going 135 in the Sunday Cup with this. Completely stock Civic was going, I was doing 135 on high speed rate. So you can imagine, you know, when you're, when you have 340 horsepower, you should be going faster than 135. I'm sorry, Angel, sorry. Yeah, I, w I was really in the mood to play some Gran Turismo, so. You got them, bo them booty calls? Heck yeah. Oh, the Impreza went down to fifth. 
So it was Skyline, man, there's, it was way behind too. Well, how are you doing, Angie? How was your stream? I see that you must have raided Wonk 2D. I actually was still lurking on your stream, but I was streaming while lurking on your stream. <laughs> right at three hours. Oh, you'd finished it. Oh my gosh, congratulations. God, I know that took forever. 137 hours. That's insane. I don't think I could have that patience. I say that, but I've 100% of Gran Turismo 4, which I don't know how many hours that took. It, it felt like 137. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I many it was. Uh... Well, you enjoyed it, so that's what matters. Yeah, as long as you had fun doing it, that's what matters. I don't figure you mind at all how long it took. Just like me, I didn't mind Gran Turismo 4 being so long. Although it took me over a year to do it. <laughs> when I 100 percent it on the channel. I couldn't do it all at once. Oh, yeah. Exactly, yeah. If it's something that you're not enjoying, no. If it's something that you're even questioning that you would enjoy, yeah, I would not even not even start it. But like, no, no way. would never make it. Honestly, Angel Star, I'm not sure if I'll ever get to Jack 3 or not. Um... Uh, there's just so many things I want to do. And Jack 3, it is on the list, but it's just not a high priority. So if you want to do it, I say go for it. I'll still watch. And you know how my memory is. I'll probably forget everything that I saw. Or not really understand what's going on until I play it myself. Because I really... It's not going to be anytime soon when I get to it. I know Pamela, I don't know if she's still here, but Pamela's really wanting me to do Kingdom Hearts 2. So that definitely will be one that comes pretty soon. But yeah, if you want to do that for your next solo project, I'd say go for it. Right now, I'm just screwing around on Gran Turismo 1, do, doing this weird little challenge that I set for myself. But this will probably only take three sessions, I'm, I estimate. So I'll finish that this week. Probably. And there's really not been in the Minecraft mood, sadly, you know. 
I know a lot of the community likes playing that. The In prison, no, you got list. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts 2 is pretty long. Yeah, I, well, I figured it would be a pretty decently sized one, you know, because Kingdom Hearts 1 was, 2 might be even longer. But yeah, oh God, if it was as long as Persona 5, I would, Ooh, I don't know about that. Yeah, 137 hours, that is a lot. I really, I really am curious how many hours I do have in GT4 on that playthrough. I really am curious. Nah, you wasn't getting, nobody was really giving me a hard time about Minecraft. It's just, I know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep this chaser. I'll, uh, I'll keep it. Um. I'm not gonna use it, but I'm gonna keep it. Unless, unless I need money, the twelve thousand to make much of a difference anyway. Okay, let's do the mega speed challenge. I'm trying to think: is there anything I want to use this G? Let me see what all I got left. As if there's something else I want to use this GTO for, I could always take the parts off. Then. So just the GT World Cup on that. All of these are done. These require, or don't require, the ace modification, but I always put it on because all the AI I have it. Yeah, I'm proud of you for toughing that out. really am. And you were having fun, you know, even even if a lot of viewers weren't there, you were still enjoying it. You know, you were doing it because you enjoyed doing it. And that's what matters. That's what matters. So, yeah, that's... Pretty impressive. So they already did weight reduction in tires. Tune is a bad mama. We're tired of driving granny cars. We are going to go to the save menu because. Now we're tired of our granny cars. It's time for some real speed now. And I think this will be the last championship I do for tonight. Well, I mean, since you're really good at, you're good at Mario Kart, so you definitely have the racing, you definitely have shown racing skill. Of course, this is way different than Mar Mario Kart, but you could definitely, you could definitely learn it. You're a fast learner. Okay, now the flywheel. Um, there's one important note about the flywheel that it says in the text here that you should take note of because it really does apply to this car. Acceleration and deceleration are both improved, but a side effect is that with narrow torque range engines, which this GTO definitely has, the car can tend to lose speed easily when the road rises. So that actually is a very negative effect with this car, so I'm not going to get the flywheel. But everything else we're gonna get. Okay. Oh, I would love to watch you play this someday. And maybe I could help you, you know, give you some advice and everything, if you wanted it. Or you could play it blind completely. Just play it the way you want to. So, yeah, fully tuned just for fun. So we have another GTO Twin Turbo. Shouldn't have any trouble.
issues. Yeah, I think Video Nut may try this game. Well, he's played it before, but he's never really taken it very seriously. I think he's considering, though, doing a full playthrough of this in the near future. Yeah, it would be so interesting seeing you play the scenes. It really would. You know, because I know you're not really a car person exactly. So I think would make it very, very interesting. Even pay attention to there being a super in here. You know the soup is so weird. The Supra is not a common opponent when I when I do this championship. You know I don't know why, but I usually get the MR2 or the 70 Super Turbo or the or the um, Toyota Sora. Usually don't get the super. Hmm, interesting. Now I'm gonna slide for the test course. I'm gonna slightly change my tune a little bit. looking at the graph there because I don't think this does very well in the higher yeah look at the graph on this one it peaks really high right at six grand but then torque ripped it just drops like a rock after that and so does the power well the power didn't drop quite as sharply but Probably should have widened six gear out a little more because I'm at 240, but now I'm at seven grand, so that means my torque is really low. Probably could have even got a faster top speed. Eh, it's fast enough. <laughs> I can't complain. It's like I always think of ways, how could I do better?
wonder if the Super will beat the GCO in this one. Probably not. That poor Z2 by two. <laughs> it was the only granny in this race. Well, even after fully tuning this, well, except for the racing modification, we have. Decent amount of money left. Oh, I agree, real fan, yeah. GT1 and 2 definitely had the best. Definitely had the best test courses. GT3 was way too long. I don't know why they did that. For the life of me, I really don't know why. We don't really need to go any faster than that, I don't think. Hey, William Tran. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? We are on our final race for this session, I think. It's probably going to be three session little short series. I, I'm about a third of the way through the game, I think. Got a lot done in this session. But we got all the big stuff left. We got all the endurances. We got the GT World still left. The Hard Tone Car Championship left. And then the US versus Japan. And UK versus Japan and all those. Those three. So yeah, good progress. Wait, what? The NSX is in second? good I've been going about three and a half hours but yeah it's probably gonna take around 10 hours to do the full play through the NSX got second I've got to say this for play it is our last race that is wow <laughs> the super came second I love it I love this game But yeah, I've been going a while. I got the licenses done. And like, you know, most of the little championships all out of the way. It's just all the big, the big juicy stuff that's left now. No wonder the Supra lost to the NSX. Going for the pass again on the outside. I was also driving my boot in with me.
Ain't that NSX took that corner well. Of course, it's an NSX and it's really well. Okay, now what the heck is going on here? Okay, the Super is boosting the NSX. Now, the Super was not gaining on the NSX either. I guess the NSX somehow was keeping my draft. The AI does that. You can be really far ahead of them, and they will still draft you. Man, that Super's trying. He's trying so hard. But not succeed. The GTO just gave it up, man. It <laughs> just gave it up. He's getting killed by the NSX. Despite having 400 more horsepower. The poor Cosmo. Ah, oh, that's fun. Uh, GT1, Gran Turismo 1 and 2 are some, and, and 4 are some of my favorite games. Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door, it's not a racing game, but that might be my favorite game of all time. So I just really love that game. It is amazing. The gameplay is so fun, music's great. I like the story. I just really like that game. So yeah, this is all that we have left because um, we've done everything else. We did the licenses, so we got these four events, which are all long, and the GT World. Oh, and they, these three, which these aren't that long, really, like 30 minutes each. Let's wash our bad mama here. Yeah, I like all kinds of games. Um, not just racing games, William. I like all kinds of games. Played all kinds of different genres of games. But y'all, I really, really had to use the bathroom. I know everybody wanted to know that. And I <laughs> think it's been a pretty good session, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here. But I'll see y'all in the next one where we take on some more of that stuff. Maybe tomorrow night we'll see how it goes. Or sometime this week. But I'll see you when I see you, and hope you have a great week, everyone.